The further down into that pile I got, the more I could make out what, what looked like from a science fiction movie, molten lava, okay? And it was way down deeper in, inside this, this, this nightmare, but it was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was bright orange and, and, and moving like you would see in a, in a volcano eruption in, in a movie. And, and, and that's where the heat was coming from. That, but every time I went back down in, the lava, got, the lava thing, the, uh, the molten metal got, got closer and, and got more, more intense, more, you know, brighter and, and, and more, um, it just like, it was like moving and running, you know, um, like it was in a movie. I mean, at one point, maybe second or third day, it looked like there was this, like a like a, a little lake of it, and, and these these molten uh, areas stayed hot and stayed very molten for days and days. Stuff. Right. And he pointed to what turned out to be the entrance to Building Seven's lobby. He said, "Go in there. Go in there. Take a break. Take a break. There's other guys in there like that." And that's what I did. I finished coming down off the pile and climbed over the wreckage of VC or Vesey and, and went into in, in those revolving doors and just kind of fell on the floor. Um, there were other guys in there doing the same thing I was, just shaking their heads and, uh, and spitting out uh, poison and, and trying to get their, you know, get their lungs back together again as I was. And I was on the floor. Um, these Battalion chiefs come in through the revolving doors. There was three of them. They had the, the white helmets. I, I, I didn't get any, any IDs off them. But as soon as they stepped inside, what stepped in behind them were these two people in black with black ski masks on and, um, and Uzis. And the Uzis were you know, hanging off their necks. Um, and I don't know what they were or who they were, but the battalion chiefs started yelling at us, right? ordering us to get out, get out of the, get out of this building, get out of this building. They're going to pull the building, everybody out now. And they ordered us back out. That's when um, we all saw uh, Building 7 um, crumple in the middle, like uh, way up at the top. It, it buckled, it buckled and then, and then dropped. Um, and it dropped like it was made out of feathers, right? I'm, I'm working my way back up toward the pile and we all felt this rumbling underneath everything, all right? It felt like I was in, I was in Haiti after the, uh, the big earthquake in, in 2012 or 2010 and, and there were aftershocks. And I, I remember now that that's, because the aftershocks were big and I remember feeling that like it was like like freight trains underneath the earth, shaking the earth, shaking the pile, even shaking me, right? 